Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and this is kind of a yarn haul slash fabric haul that was gifted to me by my sister-in-law's friend that she worked with. Um, this is a horrible camera angle and the light's shining because it's early morning and I'm tired. <laughs> so I'm just trying to get this filmed real fast just to share y'all. I mentioned it on the Facebook group last night, so I just thought I'd go ahead and film it this morning. It's kind of a weird camera angle, but I'm just... I didn't have time to like set up anything. Jesse's running around. He might make an appearance. Um, I just want to show it. I already filmed a clip of the yarn and I'll insert it after this so that you can see it. Um, there's going to be a lot of frogging in the future. Probably some frogging chats because a lot of them are half done whips. And um, I will be frogging them and just reusing the yarn. Uh, the yarn does have the odor of her house in it. So I am going to leave it laying out and let it air out to be my house odor. If that makes any sense. If you've ever had yarn gifted to you, you know that it smells like the person who gifted it to you so you you let it you know take on your scent before you put it in your totes or whatever or i do and um i know kendra does too from uh hooked by happenstance but anyways uh i'm gonna go ahead and insert the yarn clip right here and then i'll come back and show you the fabric all right we'll start right here this was in a bag she had all of her um stuff in like shopping bags this is some sort of yarn bee both of these were in, all of this was in a bag together. This is like the beginning of a blanket with this color. And then she had these two in there. I guess she was going to use these in it too also. And then this is like a, ball, a bag of scrap balls. This is some sort of baby yarn. This is Lion Brand Micro Spoon. There's a few of those. And then this down here is... Ooh. Wine brand cool. There's two of those. And this is a mystery gray ball. It's really thin. And then this is put that down. And I lost it. <laughs> Barilla. Don't know what that is. And there's a, a scrap ball of super bulky. <laughs> then there are two full spools of cotton, peaches and cream cotton, and then this one is partially used, and right here is what it's used on. So I will be frogging all of these um, blankets that she started, and you reuse the yarn for other things. And this is the baby blanket that she started on. It's Vanna's Choice. There's a couple of balls for it, and then the blanket. And this is a bulky... Burnett. There are four unopened balls of that, and then there's a huge blanket that's probably multiple balls of it with the ball attached to it still. And it's got a little bit of red on it. And then there is this one here. I think this is homespun. It looks like homespun. But there's this big ball of it, and then there's like a big half of a blanket that I will be ripping out. This is a really pretty color, actually. I like that color. And then under here is... This is definitely a wool blend because it's itchy. <laughs> uh, it's a corner to corner that she started. I'm going to be ripping it out too, and this is what's attached to it. And then back here is just a finished blanket that I was going to wash and probably donate. But that is all the yarn that she gave me and projects. Also, there were two hooks in it. Hey, baby. Who's that? Oh, and milk. Hey, y'all. You got milk in the living room. But that's the yarn, and then I'll show you the material separately. Alright, that was the yarn. It is hot in this house today. I got the air on, but it's burning out. The fabric, I got a box right here. Oh, I put it in this box. It's a pull-up box. <laughs> um, there's a lot of scrap pieces, and then there's some bigger ones. But with these scrap pieces, I'm planning on making kind of patchwork like uh, fat quarters and then making bags out of them. I thought that would be cool to like try. I don't know if it's doable for me, but I'm going to try. But I'll just kind of show you some of them. Like this is pretty, that's a pretty, you know, it's not tiny scrap, but it's a scrap. And here's some like pink ones. Red. A bunch of just random, where she was cutting out squares to make, um, bigger squares to make blankets with. This is a bunch of just like white. Just a lot of little scraps. Metal flags. Like these ones right here. I'm gonna get them together. 
all these crazy color ones kind of go together. Might have came in a kit together. I thought those would be, you know, could make some strips or squares or something and then sew them together in just random pattern in like a patchwork kind of way to make a bag out of. I thought that'd be cool. And then there's some like blue and purple hued ones that I can put together. There's a lot of them. Just pick these up. And there's just all kinds of scrap material that she was giving away that I'm going to attempt to make bags out of. She also said that she's still looking through more stuff, and if she finds more yarn or scrap, she'll contact me. These purples would be a cute bag together, and this has got like little mushrooms on it. Uh, this was in there. I thought I could maybe use this somehow on a bag. Like put it flat and make it like the front of the bag or something. I don't know. I'll try to use it, and if I can't figure out how to use it, then I will... Uh, probably throw away the small pieces and then the larger ones I could donate to the thrift store and then someone who's more talented sewing than I am could uh, use them. There's a lot of these little pieces. Ooh, this one's weird but cool. Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> um, just I know I could utilize a lot of these larger scrap pieces. Like all these reds I could patch together and make a really cute red bag that's got uh, what's this called? Bandana material. <laughs> it's checkered and dots. It'd just be cute, all these reds together. I hear a little person come in. Hi, Bugaboo. Hi, Bugaboo. No, let Mama do that. Mama's showing the camera. Look at this. Mama's showing the camera. And these go into some of the larger uh, pieces of material. Let's just fold it over. It's strong. Pretty flowery one. Yeah. It's brown. Yeah, it's brown. Yeah. This one's got birdhouses on it. Jake. This is actually still got its label right. on it. Right here, give it to Mama. Mama's showing the camera right here. How? Oh. This is more birdhouses. It's came in. Oh, I got it backwards. <laughs> Sorry. Where did the pants smell, Banks? No, they're not pants. It's material. Thank you. This is just like a khaki color. Thank you. These are two Christmas ones. These are each fat quarter, so I can make a small bag out of these two together. Look at those green shirts. Green with like flowers on them, little daisy flowers. This is a really pretty green. This is a big piece. It's got like flowers on it too. I don't know if you can see it. It's really light. Polka dots. Jacob. Black. Jacob. <laughs> Thank you. Here's two more greens that would go good with them other ones. It's got little houses on it. Wow. Green. Right. <laughs> Don't unfold it. <laughs> this is a big giant. This is probably like two or three yards of Look at big polka dots. <laughs> yep, let Mama see it. Purple. 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 Black and maroon. Hold on, Bugaboo. Let Mama do this. These two are really locked together. This is going to make a really pretty bag. <laughs> See, he's throwing them everywhere. But this is like a really pretty, look at that. Liner outside. It's going to be a pretty bag. It's going to be hard to get rid of. This, she had already pieced together. There's Jesse. <laughs> pieced together. Okay, I don't know if you can see it well. But it's like kind of a quilted hunk of material. I'm gonna try to make a bag out of this. It'll probably be smaller than my usual bags, but it's just a really pretty piece of material to use. Bless you. Mm -hmm. This is very patriotic y. Oh, look at your oh, this is, is dark so... paisleys. Sorry for the lighting. <laughs> there you go. Oh, this one's cute. It's got blue birds on it. This is so cute. Is it so cute? This would be a good liner. Just dark blue with little flowers on it. This is red. There's, there's two of these. Nope, there's three of these. There's three of these. I thought I could put more material around them and make bags <laughs> out of these. Quit throwing stuff at me. Big piece of white that Jesse just threw at me. There's another one of those stars. This would be a pretty liner or even a bag. 
What else is in there? Let's get the rest of it. Ugh. This is a big, this is probably like two yards of this blue. It's a pillar blue in person. Hold on. I'm going to do it. I'm almost, almost done. This is a couple yards of cherry. Dude, I need that. Get that back to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't flip over. White, black, and like a yard or so of apples. And last thing, Jesse stole. <laughs> this is half a yard of American flags. There, stinker. All right, that's all of the material. Like I said, I'm going to try to piece some of it together to make bags with. I really want to make a bag out of that. That's so cool. Ooh. Thank you. Jesse's helping me put it back in the box. You help, Mama? You helping, Mama? Put it in the box. Thank you. Good job. All right, that's everything she gave me. No, nope, that's a lie. You actually leaned up against another thing. Uh, it's a Walmart shopping bag top bag <laughs> it's actually red I don't know where it's from but it's full of little thin those little tiny Whoa, books of um, they're big in yeah leave them alone cross stitch patterns I'm gonna give to my sister and there's a bunch of cross stitch magazines in there really old ones well not really old but they're from the 80s <laughs> but yeah that is everything that she gave me I think right there's the bag of whoop, uh, cross stitch patterns <laughs> but I've got to figure out what to do with that yarn because I have nowhere to put it to let it air out without Jesse into it see how gross I look I'm sweaty it's hot in here <laughs> anyways um I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here and try to get this edited and up as soon as possible um yeah so just expect a lot of frog and chats in the future <laughs> Jesse's whining so I gotta go <laughs> bye guys